Okay, next question is from Brian for a three-person B2C, business to consumer, startup embracing the lean startup principles. How long should we give ourselves to reach ramen profitability? Around 6000 per month for us before conceding that we won't reach product market fit with current approach and should instead move on to the next idea. Great question. Lean startup is an awesome uh, methodology. Uh, and there's a lot of other methodologies there for startups. A lot of different ways to think about them. But for a B2C company, um, reaching ramen profitability is not actually the goal. For a B2C product, it's not about can you make 6K a month. It's about how many people are using your product. What's the retention? In other words, how long do they stick with it? How fast is it growing? And also, how many minutes are they using it? So you tell me, hey, I've only got 100 users. I say, oh, only 100 users? Oh, that's not too many. And you say, but they come back seven times a day to use my app. And they're in the app on average for eight minutes. I say, wait a second. They're coming back six or seven times a day and they're in it for eight minutes? Oh, that's Twitter. Twitter is just highly addictive or Instagram, highly addictive. People are opening up three, four, five times a day. MySpace, a company like that, what they found was MySpace had more users at a point in time than Facebook. But when you peeled back the onion, people were going to Facebook four, five, six times a day, people were coming to MySpace twice a month. They would get like a little email that was saying like, you have a message. They click on it. They go to the site. The message was stupid. It was spam. They would leave, right? So the devil is in the details. What you're looking for as a B2C uh, product is how long are people using it? What's the retention like? So if, you got, if 50 people use the product today in that cohort, the Monday cohort from this week in 2016, how many were using it 10 Mondays from now? from that Monday, right? How many people stuck with it? That's the key. If you can show, hey, people are still using the product and some group of people are using it a lot, all of these things can add up to going to an investor and saying, look, based on this trajectory, we know we can acquire customers for this amount or we know that one person tells 1.2 people our viral coefficient about the product, so therefore we're going to grow and here's what it will look like. We know people use it six or seven times a day already. We know there are this many more people out there like this. So, yeah, you know, some some things get massive uh, usage, like World of Warcraft. People play World of Warcraft for five hours a day, for thirty hours a month, for thirty days a month. I mean, they're playing two hundred hours a month, right? It's like a full time job, hundred hours a month. Oh my God, that's incredible! How much are you monetizing them for? Oh yeah, they're paying fifteen dollars a month. Great. That really looks interesting as a business, right? If they were playing for 10 hours, it would be costing them a dollar fifty hour, but they're playing for a hundred, so it's costing them fifteen cents an hour. That's amazing. You're monetizing them for fifteen cents an hour and they're playing for a hundred hours, two hundred hours a month. Fantastic. There's something there. Okay, now we just need to know how big can this get. Oh, well, it peaked out at eight million people paying that fifteen dollars a month. Hey, wow, it's a pretty big business, six hundred million dollars a year. If it would only peak out at eight thousand people, hey, maybe it's a little tiny business, right? So that's what we're looking for as investors. We're going to look into, not can you hit 6K. That's more for a B2B company. In a B2C company, you don't want to even think about monetization. I mean, you might want to have an idea of how you'll do it, a theory. Okay, you know, Instagram is going to do beautiful pictures and Vine is going to do sponsored six-second, seven-second loops for Oreos or chocolate milk or, you know, for cars and you know, uh, people are going to do watches and fashion ads on Instagram, right? You can understand like, okay, we have a certain theory. We'll charge people by the loops on Vine. So you might have some clever theory about how your advertising will work. Maybe you'll do lead gen. You're not really executing on that until you hit some level of critical mass. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or millions of users per day in all likelihood. What you're really looking for is not ROM and profitability. Because if you're looking for engagement and growth, and how is it growing week over week and studying that? And that's why you have to have a growth culture. Everybody in the team has to figure out what your KPIs are, what the key metrics are, and you have to try to grow those key metrics and understand why they're growing. Then that 6K a month in ramen profitability, well, you know, that's only 75K a year. You can go to any angel and get that if you show growth. Focus on growth in those early days of a B2C customer. It doesn't need to be a lot of people. Better to have a small number of people using the product a lot than a lot of people using the product not so often. Great question. Hey, everybody. I want to take a moment to tell you about retargeting. This is a very, very important thing for startups to understand because customer acquisition is what it's all about and ad role is 
the best retargeting platform on the planet. Over 25,000 advertisers use it. And I want to tell you today about a new product they have. It's called Send Roll. No, it's not sending to get you rolls and buttered rolls. No. This is about email. And Send Roll uh, lets you get all those people who are window shoppers, people who are checking out your website, and then you can convert them into buyers, which is what you want, getting them to sign up for your product or service by email. So imagine they visit your site, but then they get an email follow-up. Senroll is powerful retargeting tech plus effective emails, and the results have been spectacular. The average Senroll gets a 45 to 60% open rate and a 10 to 20% click-through. And I can tell you, running inside.com, that that is probably three times, four times the industry average. And it's so easy to set up a send roll campaign. It just takes minutes. They give you all the templates, and they have a 24-hour, uh, seven-day-a-week customer service line if you need help. And what I always like to do when we have somebody who has a product uh, that's loved on our program, we don't want to read any sponsor messages, any partner messages for things that are not loved. The great part is a lot of my founders from my portfolio use AdRoll, so it's very easy for me to talk about their new product, SendRoll. James Heller, the founder of Rapify, which went through my incubator, says AdRoll is an integral part of our customer acquisition strategy. It allows us to continue to garner impressions long after the initial customer interaction. It's also one of the most cost-effective tools to bolster any integrated marketing strategy. AdRoll is the best retargeting platform, period. That's according to James Heller, good friend of mine and one of my investments at Rapify. So here's your call to action, everybody. Try SendRoll and get a $100 credit. Just go to adroll.com slash twist, adroll.com slash twist, adroll.com slash twist, and get that $100 credit. And please try that send roll and give them some feedback uh, and let them know that at Jason sent you. Okay, let's get back to this amazing program. 